Ready? So, hi guys. Um, so, Pedro and I just finished eating baked Alaska. I had eaten it before, but I had it so long ago at a cruise when I was a little girl with my parents. So I didn't even remember what the flavor was, but there was this was like the only restaurant <laughs> that had it close to our, our job. So we drove here just to have dessert. And the people were like, um, so do you know what you want? Do you want to see a menu? We're like, no, 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 we're just here for we're the big glass. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, they were super it was super good. And um and uh and they were super nice. Oh, sorry. Super nice, super attentive. Anyways, um, so I wanted to do a double takedown, but we weren't able to do it at the restaurant because I was a little bit intimidated. It was a very fancy restaurant. I guess they're the only ones that serve uh, baked Alaska. But what I wanted to go... Pinky in the air fancy. Pinky in the air fancy. So one of the things that I wanted to do was um, I wanted to go ahead and talk about get up day right so get up day pretty much comes from I mean it was created because when I guess like the time of ice skating stops right it came from the idea that every ice skater that falls down needs to get back up but there's like a deeper meaning for this holiday and it's that when you when you get to, like when you fall how is it that you get back up, right? And so we celebrate getting back up because it's, first of all, not everybody can get back up depending on, on what, you know, what it is that causes you to fall. It's not technically falling down. It, it can mean anything from, like, metaphorically speaking, a divorce, uh, a death in the family. Like, everybody has their own hardships, right? So it's... it's, it's hardships, yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it all comes down to how it is that you get back up and getting up day is celebrated because think about it. How, how, how many benefits come from getting up? Lessons are learned. Experience is gained. Absolutely. Makes you a stronger person. So, like, I'm going to go ahead and start off with something that happened to me, right? So, I think that one of the hardest things that happened to me in my life was... The death of my dad. Sorry. It was a very unstable truck here. <laughs> so one of the things that I feel like was very unstable for me was the death of my father. So much so that at that time when my father passed, I was currently living with my stepmom because I had moved with them to... Um, I had moved in with them... To, you know to be closer to my dad and when he passed um i was only able to live there for a couple months because every time i drove back to the house i got super super depressed Makes and sense. i would get there and the house would be dark and it would be lonely everybody would be sleeping because i picked up one week after i got back i mean one week after my dad died I had left my job, I stopped school, I did all of this because I was taking care of my dad and I wanted to be the biggest help possible, right? Mm -hmm. So I stopped school and I didn't have a job. I remember that I stayed, that my bank went overdraft. Um, I was three weeks in Oklahoma with him at the cancer treatment centers. Like I was literally distraught to the max. And so at that time I wasn't thinking about anything else. I was just thinking of my dad. Yeah, so you, put, you put your life on hold. To, I put to focus my life on, on hold and to focus on that. And my, my bank account went overdraft. I remember once, like a week after my dad died, I walked into Chase and I literally almost fell down in tears. And I said, Look, my dad just died. I don't have a job. I, I'm not going to school. I can't pay whatever it is you're asking me to because I don't know how it happened. I got no notifications 
the the bank just went overdraft like and i was like under 200 dollars. because that's the thing with banks now it's like if you just let two days pass they'll keep doing it every day oh yeah and they'll and charge, charge you every and single charge time you and charge yeah that's happened to me now yeah without knowing what circumstances or situations went in care. right so that was happening to me too i went sat down with them talked to the manager well talked to a banker and he's like let me talk to my manager that's why I st I've stuck with Chase until now, cause the da the dude came back, you know, and he says, "Look, my manager's gonna drop any like everything. Do you have at least five dollars to put in the account?" I almost wanted to cry, and I'm like, "No, no, of course I have like fifteen dollars. Put whatever I had on the bank, and I was in good standing with them. And after that, I never went into overdraft again. But." No all those hardships, you know, I remember going in and getting interviewed for a job, something I had never done before. I became a waitress. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> but I had never been a waitress before. And I went into that restaurant and I said, look, I've never done this in my life, but I'm a fast learner. So, can you please give me the opportunity? And then the manager was like, kind of like hesitant at first. She's like, well, you know. And I was like, look. And I like stared at her in the face and I told her the reality. I just lost my dad a week ago. I need a job. Can you please help me? <coughs> I don't know, but that woman was compassionate <laughs> with me. <laughs> like, from then on. She's like, can you be here at 5 p.m.? I'm like, I will be here. Came back that afternoon and started getting trained. And that was that. But it was really hard because I suffered emotionally for six months after that. Like, real hard. I almost felt like my dad was just, like, in a very long vacation and that he was going to come back. And sometimes that's one of the, you know, signs of, of, of grieving, right? It's the fact that you can't, you can't you can't think that 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 person's actually gone and then when it starts hitting you that that person's never coming back that's like one of the hardest things that i've ever had to deal with in my life the human the human mind isn't designed to understand loss like that yeah and it's not but you know i i decided to leave my stepmom's house after six months I decided to move out by myself. Uh, I ended up... My grandma wasn't using her apartment at the time, so I decided to crash there. She told me if I paid rent that I could stay there, so I started doing that. I started managing myself. I actually needed, believe it or not, the lo that loss, I needed to be alone. It helped me understand what was going on. It helped me give, give me time and space to, to actually grieve on my own. And, and to think and stuff and, and it took me some time but when I got back up I mean I got back up harder I mean look, look at where I am today right yeah but my losing my dad was one of the hardest things I've had to deal with in my life like I mean I guess as a kid you never think of losing your parents so early in life my dad <clears throat> didn't even turn 50 years old when he passed I mean <clears throat> but you know thanks Thank, you know, thankfully, I have grown to be, you know, uh, it's, you know what, one of the things I learned so much is how to value a lot of things in life. I think that's why, you know, after the loss of my father, I really take into consideration the little things and I've learned to value my family members. I mean, I'm, I've, I've grown so close to my grandma since then, you know, and I value that because, like, I don't think, I, I mean, I'm not saying that I wouldn't have without this happening in my life, but it definitely makes me value it even more. But you're better prepared for it as well. In the, in the, in the time that I've known you, you know, I, I'm you're younger than me, but I, even if you've lacked the experience in a certain scenario, you're much better equipped to take these random things or these big things on than a lot of people are, <clears throat> and even more so me. So, 
for your age, your your adaptability and your capability to get up from anything that happens to you yeah. doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. It doesn't mean that you're not going to feel it. And you might feel it more than most because your heart is, is huge. But you get up. Yeah. You figure it out somehow. And you use, you use and call upon the people around you that you value to do that as well, which is also a sign of of strength you're not trying to do it on your own hashtag get up so what about you Pedro what is the hardest thing you've fallen to that you've been able to get up from mm. it's okay if you don't want to get too <laughs> it's okay if you don't want to get too into something personal but you can talk about whatever you want. It could be something small that made a difference or an impact in your life that allowed you to get up from it and made you a stronger person. Well, it could be a change of job. It could be buying a house. Without going, maybe financial difficulty. Without going too deep into this stuff. Um, since I was a kid, I've always had people around me. Uh, when I became a teenager, I kind of started dating almost right away. And I've always been surrounded by people or a person. Are we going west? Yeah. I've always been surrounded by people or a person or somebody. Even when that person wasn't the right person for me, it just felt better to have somebody around than to have nobody around. Right. And I was either fortunate, unfortunate, however you want to look at it, that I was always in somebody's company. Well, um, when you become an adult, depending on who you surround yourself with uh, or not, I'm just going to grab this and put it closer. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was in a scenario where I had moved out of my parents' house. I had my own place. Um, and then when a relationship didn't work out for the one of the first times in my life, I actually found myself completely alone. Um, you know, and that pales, I think, in comparison to the things that a lot of people have to go through. Um, I was very fortunate in the fact that I was born into my family very young, so I, I haven't. I, I only dealt with the loss of my grandfather in the last five or six years, so I haven't really lost many people. But um, I've had to learn to live with myself uh, in utter silence, and that has been a lesson that I'm still learning from. That I have to uh, work See? through and incorporate to be a stronger person, to be better because I have a daughter and I have to be there for her you know she she's a kid she needs me I it's not about me anymore so I had to to use the phrase I had to get up from from what I was experiencing to be there for somebody else who needed me more so you haven't just got up you're still in the process of getting up by learning who you are every day every, every day every day there's a lesson. Even if it's the same thing, you have to experience it again and figure out how to make it work, how to, how to get past it, or what else you could learn from it. Every trial and tribulation, in the, in, the, in the core of every trial is a golden nugget of experience waiting for you, some lesson to be learned. And life is always gonna give you those things. You can either see them as suffering or you can see them as opportunities to grow as you get up. Well, I think uh, I think that's what, that's what Pedro and I got to say about um, National Get Up Day, right? We've shared some of our personal experiences, how we got up from it, how we're continuing to get up from other, you know, personal, uh, at a personal level. You know, to make us better people, right? I think every day we're 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 hashtag uh, getting up um, to become better, and and still, I mean, believe it or not, every experience we pass in our lifetime, we're still constantly living with it. You know, whether it's remorse, whether it's uh, grief, whether it's learning to cope with our own mistakes. We live with that day to day. So actually we are, you know, still on the verge of getting up because you never kind of like forget it, right? It happened. 
um, sometimes they, you know, you, there's certain things that forget, but when it's something this big, when you fall, you know, so hard, it kind of sticks with you for the rest of your life. So it continues to build up, right? To make you better, to, 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 to be that constant reminder you need to continue getting up. So, um, that's, that's, that's what we got, right? All right, guys. Well, that's it. We, uh, we had, we had, a uh, baked Alaska. Fancy baked Alaska. Fancy baked Alaska. And we talked about National Get Up Day. So, double holiday takedown. We'll see you later.